What in the world is this? So this is a scaled up version of the Firefly. Do you remember what company made the Firefly? Comet. All right. So this is where I join in. All right. So I, uh, I technically, I didn't design this as far as the upscale. Uh, Jim Zare um, cooked up a radio controlled, I don't remember how, I think it's like a 200% Firefly because this is 42 inches, I believe, something like that. Uh, 250 square inches and he cooked it up for radio control and so we converted it back to free flight go figure hold on uh, um, that's not all yeah we also added Close. some added some things uh, windcatcher RC does a great job of yes. hot wire cutting stuff thank you windcatcher so you send them your CAD file you pay them money and they they make you foam stuff so that worked out very nicely uh, we'll give some more details on how those are set up later. But anyway, we have this thing set up for Rise Off Water Mulvey Hill. And uh, it's going to have radio dethermalizer. The dethermalizer is not oh, rigged. Um, and there's a reason for that. The wing is on a sliding uh, pylon. And so we're going to use that to set the CG, fine-tune the CG. And then after that, we will kind of lock it in. And then we can set the line length for the for the DT. So I uh, bought this prop off of eBay because reasons. And I put a uh, Garamy style uh, freewheel clutch on there. Um, but you did the build the building. What do you think of yeah. this thing so far? It it went together very easy. Um, Let's show the airfoil. It is a very nice airfoil. Normally. It takes me, you know, a couple weeks to do builds just because of busy with 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 kits and stuff. Um, so this one I was able to build out. I think what it took me a day, a day and, and a half. half, day and a half. Yeah. yeah. Of course, I did the covering yeah. and yeah, he did all uh, the, the float and, fittings and whatnot. Yeah. But mainly because that was a make it up as you go along. Yeah, and I've. I have never covered in Daca Lamb, and so it was not one of those things that we wanted to... Yeah, because this is the 0.6 yeah, mil, which is very stuff. thin. It's a little unforgiving if you're unfamiliar with it, just because yeah. if you run too much heat, bad things happen. So, um, if, it was, it was, if it was thicker stuff, I probably could have, you know, done some of it, but... All right, well, let's give this thing a test glide. Uh, wind's coming from that way, so it'll probably need a fairly good shove... And it's not going to glide well with floats. That'll make me a liar. <laughs> I was about to say, you're saying? <laughs> All right, well, let's wind in a few turns and see what happens. A little bit. Uh, not that much. Uh, just give it a comfortable toss, whatever works. Well, that's uneventful. A little stall. Not bad. Wow, what a delight. Wow. Get it a little more nose up. Not that much. There you go, all right. It might need a little bit of a shim on there. So much for the prop freewheeling, but that's all right. All right, so a little more oomph this time. And we also put a DT system on it. Yeah, so hopefully. It's a modern DT system. Sorry, people. Whatever. I like the old-fashioned ones, but 
Um, I would launch it more to the right. There you go. Gonna have to open up that turn a smidge. Yeah. Adjust it. And wait a little longer. All right, now, very nice. Plop. The foolishness has begun. What are we doing? We are making a pond. A pond. Why? Because we have three. Three? Three ROW planes, which is rise off water. So, and How many ROW planes do we have? Three. No, we don't. We have two. Well, I know we have two. And we have a third one that is in the process. But, um. We have a runaway. Yeah. So, instead of taking it off from table or just launching it by hand, it has to take off from water. So we're making our own pond so we can practice for the gnats that is coming up next week. Actually, no, it's in two weeks, but a little over two weeks. No, no it's no. next week. It's next week, that's right. Um, it starts very soon. Yeah. So... We, um... Eight days. We went to Tractor Supply and got their biggest drop cloth so we could forget. Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, sorry. And then just use some, what is it, cheese by These are 4 by 4s because four I had them. The ground is not level, which is why it's full on one side, not on the other. There are bricks on that corner, that corner, and that corner to level it. And, uh... It looks like it's going to work. So we'll be back in a bit. I can see the grass. So we're getting there. At least it floats. Looks pretty good. It's flopping in the plane. Yes! Yes, we did it! I did it Now if it'll just stay clear of the tree. Was it uh No, because we don't have an official uh clock on it. So. Man, that fly is good. Look how good that flies. Alright. First attempt. No flipping way. Go, go. Oh, not quite. That's okay. All right. Same as before. A little sluggish there, but that's okay. Getting away there safely. Go, the nose down. May need to add in a little down thrust or something there. Yeah. Worst problems to have. That's just beyond spectacular. If I were in that point, I would walk it down at the pond. Hey, don't forget, I, I, I need a little pilot. Yeah, you do. All right, hang on. Wait. Can you, uh, don't want to DT it over that stuff. Uh, print, um, just keep waiting. Wait. All right, hit it. All right, you get to go. Nice. Ooh. All right, set it down. Tail down too. There you go. All right, prop first. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That's what happens when Daddy tells him not to wind it up much. Small price to pay to keep it on the field. Look, I'm on the field. Yeah, His doesn't place, have a uh, which is perfect. RDT like mine, so. Uh. All right, fire when ready. Don't stall out, don't stall out. Whoa! Go, baby, go! Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.